very warm welcome to you in another video and as promised in the previous one I told you the warm-up routine is very essential and important if you want to keep your body fingers wrist elbow arms shoulders back neck thighs legs so I have you know you would have realized named so many different parts of the body that are actively involved when it comes to playing tennis so the warm-up routine for all these muscles is also as much essential as you consider playing a good game of tennis but before that uh, it's the warm-up exercises that you have to do to be safe and avoid all the different kinds of injuries so as I told you we're gonna move from top to bottom and from top I mean that first thing that you have to concentrate on is the neck and then we'll move gradually ahead but I'll keep it short and brief so that it's not that much difficult or boring for you people to give it a try. So you can follow the pattern with me, you can do it alongside me and if you think that first you want to see it and then you are going to revise it or rewind it and then watch it again, that's entirely up to you. So starting from the neck, the exercise is very simple. You're going to stretch your neck in all the different directions in which your neck can move. Up and down, then right and left. Then right, left again, but this time you will not be rotating in this way, rather this way and this way. Once you have done these, you can do it, you know, 2x time or 3x time as comfortable as you people are. Right now, I'm giving you people a demo. Then, you know, move the entire head in this direction and then do it in the opposite direction so now you have like moved the neck in all the different directions in which it can probably move while game, while playing tennis forehand backhand smash so now it has the agility to to be able to withstand such kind of stretch if it happens in a real game you have stretched the muscles already you have prepared them for such kind of exercise and drill so once you have done that, then you can gradually proceed ahead with uh, your fingers and your wrist. And for that, you basically have to do this, stretch your hand as much as you can towards your own self. First in this way, then in the opposite direction, you know, you'll feel some, some sort of stretch over here at this joint. This is a joint that you are trying to stretch as much as you can because when you'll be like you know serving or when you'll be playing the forehand the wrist will be you know actively involved and will be engaged heavy so if you have already stretched it and in case of both hands you have stretched your fingers as well as your wrist then uh, do this you know let me show it from this angle also and then the opposite way so now you are you know making your uh, wrist as flexible as it can be now it would be able to move in the same direction when you are you know swinging the racket either for supination pronation or even playing forehand and backhand so now you have made your wrist flexible also so once you have done that then we're going to proceed ahead with stretching our arms our elbows for this you're gonna first you know move your arm in this way and using the other arm is gonna press it towards the back side this is going to put a stretch over here as much stretch as possible so when you take your uh, racket for a double fisted backhand in this direction it won't be that difficult for you because you have already stretched yourself as much as you can and then do it in the other direction also for example when you have to play a forehand so you take your racket back and while doing that you are basically you know stretching your arm so first of all prepare your arm for such kind of stretch once you have done that then prepare your arms for the the back movement of the arm also whether it's for serve or for any kind of smash or high volley so for that you basically you know they bend your arm in this way and then you know use your left hand to grab the elbow of your right arm 
and then stretch it, stretch it in the backward direction in this way. And do the same thing by taking the left arm over here then grabbing the elbow of the left arm with your right hand and then push it back. Once you have done that, then try to grab your left hand with your right hand by bringing the left arm from the bottom and the right arm from the top. If you can't grab it, just try to touch the fingers just like this. That is also putting a stretch for both arms. And do the same thing now bringing the right arm from the bottom and the left arm from the top. So when I'm doing this move, I can feel, you know, pressure and a real stretch over here in my right shoulder. And if you are able to do it effectively, when you are serving, when you are playing forehand, backhand, when you are stretching to reach uh, drop shots, you won't feel that much of pain. You have already prepared yourself for heavy shots, heavy kind of drills. So once you have done that, all these things, then you know, swing the entire arm in this way. And the other one also and then in the opposite direction and this one also in the opposite direction so almost your arms are now ready for any kind of shot what's left is your back the backbone the hips the waist then the thighs and everything else that is coming ahead in the next video try it out